hi, and welcome to, um, whatever this is. I have no intro. I'm just kind of winging it here because this is my first video. My name is Kat, or you can call me As a Kitten, which is also my channel's name, so whatever you feel comfortable with, just go with it. Um, today I'm going to be discussing some of the new releases that have come out this month. Um, well, last month and this month. So really, <laughs> how this video kind of got started was, you know, I'm just minding my business on Instagram, scrolling through, and I stumbled upon a post from Turn Mood that literally just kind of annoyed my soul. It was from ABH, and as most of you may know, um, ABH has just kind of been going through it like in the past couple of years. Um, from releasing like a palette every like two seconds to just it coming out with like really weird and lackluster products like their UV liners, which honestly I've gotten some from like an indie brand, which I absolutely love because one, they work, two, it costs me like what, like $35 for a ton of liners that are like super cute. And three, it's from an indie brand. So I'd much rather purchase from them than ABH, especially you know, since the ones that people got smell like fish and I don't know. I, I don't feel comfortable putting things that smell like fish on my face. So I was just going through Trend Mood and I noticed that they had the new Iced Out collection. Iced Out. Okay, so this collection includes their brow freeze, two lip glosses, and a highlighter. So I've been seeing a lot online that like their brow freeze is really good if you're doing like the soap brows, which I don't have enough eyebrows to do the soap brows. I've seen other people do it and I absolutely love it on them. But on me, yeah, your, your girl is just filling in stuff. Um, Cause I don't have eyebrows. Um, as for the lip glosses, like I honestly have, I have this wet cherry gloss, which is in shade Disco Cherry, which is kind of actually it's exactly like this one um except this one i paid like 18 dollars, and that one is 20 so it's like you're saving two dollars and of course you have the clear gloss i have the fenty clear gloss in glass slipper which you know i love fenty i'm actually wearing fenty lipstick today and yeah, I just, I prefer that. And you can get a dupe of literally any brand with a clear gloss. Essence has one. Excuse me. Oh my God. Too much Starbucks today. Essence has one. You know, as a CoverGirl has one. Literally every brand has a, has a clear gloss. Like you can even use, I'm not, I'm not going to recommend that, but you can use like, um, I was about to say Vaseline, but let's not consume petroleum. Don't do that. Um, you can literally use anything as a clear gloss. You don't need it. And also the highlighter is just like, I'm looking at some of the swatches on here and I have a Mac. Oh, what is it? It's like a skin. Hold on. I have to go through all of my things There's so much. So I'm just going to pull out this heckin' chunk of a box that's filled to the brim with all of my um, shiny face products. So I have like the liquid ones from, from ColourPop, from like their Soul Beauty. I also, there's like one from, here it is, okay, yeah. So this one is the double gleam in the extra dimension skin finish. Yeah, skin finish. And honestly, when I look at some of these swatches on here of them, I'm kind of just thinking like, this is literally the same product because it kind of has that like, it's that sheeny gold. Hold on, let me look at this. Yeah, that's the same, that's the same product. I just realized that. So if you look at the swatch on my wrist and you compare it to the one that's on um, ABH's post and also like Trimpoot's post, it's the same thing. So you can honestly get this and get the exact same results if you're not, you know, 
looking to spend that much money or whatever. I honestly, I got it like earlier last year or at some point last year when we were in lockdown and I was super bored and I was just like, you know what, we're just gonna hoard a lot of makeup because you're, you're, you have nothing to do. You have nothing to do but order DoorDash and just buy makeup. And now my sleeves are all glittery. Yay me. Um, so moving on. So yeah, long story short in regard to um, the ABH Iced Out Collection. Yeah, don't get it. <laughs> just literally, you can, I think Makeup Revolution, they also have a highlighter that looks just like this. If you look through, like if you go to like Ulta, and I know that um, they're also coming to Target pretty soon, you can get this anywhere. You can get a clear gloss anywhere. You can even get like a little, you know, they have those things in the tube. I know Essence and... Covergirl, they have them. It's like a brow slash like clear mascara type thing. So like you can get those anywhere. All right, so moving on to the next part. I'm pretty much just gonna start with everything I don't like. It, I don't know if that's too negative, um, but yeah, I'm gonna start off with things I don't like and that I'm not gonna buy. So the next thing I saw was the ColourPop and Off Melrose place collection that's coming out and I know that a lot of people have like gripes with ColourPop because of their lack of like proper shades for darker skinned um women and well not just women people I'm just gonna I'm just gonna edit that yeah so <laughs> I know that like people have been like griping with them because they don't have a lot of like a wide shade range which I totally get um and it's really starting to, like, I know the Animal Crossing collection, which I'm going to get to because I just want the eyeshadows. And I only want the eyeshadows because I love Animal Crossing. I don't really care about anything else. I'm probably not going to use it. I just, I'm a simp for Tom Nook. Anyway, so I'm looking at this off Melrose collection and... If you own like literally any color pop palette that's like neutral or nude or boring, um, you have all these already. I, I'm telling you, I'm looking at this and not even like my other palettes that I have in my collection, like which I will show one day because it's I have a problem. Um you have these, you own these like 15 times over. You don't need this. Like I'm even looking at the Lux Gloss and I have a couple of those. I think I have like two or, th no, I have four. Um, they're okay, I, they're cheap, whatever. I, I got them because I needed my cart to be over $30 to get the free shipping, so whatever. But they're okay. This is, again, this is like giving me you, you own this like the the clear stuff the the slightly deeper colors you have this you don't need it and also we're wearing masks like you don't just get yourself a really good lip balm i'm not get yourself a nice lip balm or lip mask and you're good <laughs> because again we're wearing masks when we go out so you don't need this um of course the the blushes are terrible and that's one thing that like a lot of people have been talking about with ColourPop is like every single time they release something, their blushes are just so lackluster. And I, like, even though I'm not like super, I'm like in the middle, like my skin's not too deep, but it's also not too light. I'm just like smack dab in the middle. And these are going to look as you like this, this lower shade down here that's like underneath that, that's going to blend into my skin it's gonna just disappear. It's gonna be a wisp. Um, this pink thing is gonna look like someone like pinch me. Like I have much better products. Like honestly, when I think about this, I think about like my cover effects one, the little, um, the monochromatic like duo type thing where it's like a highlighter and a blush. I have three of those best blushes and highlighters I've ever used because I'm getting everything I want, but it's all in like one space. And it gives me color. You can actually see it on my face. Um, but this is like, just stop. 
like if you're not gonna like put in the effort to actually make it so that your you know entire consumer base who goes onto your website can purchase it or who goes into like a, an Ulta can buy it just don't make it and also stop coming out with the same neutral palette over and over like you're I I'm not gonna yell because it's 1 13 in the morning but um stop <laughs> just stop um and also another thing to do is stop putting glitters in the mats stop stop doing hey uh color pop if you're gonna do one thing i'm gonna give you till 2022 because you know that that gives you time to like learn and grow stop putting glitters in the mats no one wants it you know do you know why I don't use my Sailor Moon palette other than the fact that the colors are just horrible and I just literally bought it for that little holographic packaging? The glitters in the matte make it basically unusable for me. No one wants, if I want a matte, I'm gonna use a matte. If I want a glitter, I'm gonna use a glitter. I don't need an overlap of both, okay? Just, just a little hint for 2022, I'm gonna give you some time. Stop, just stop, no, no one, everyone hates it consistently everyone hates it all right moving on to the next thing Whew. that 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 felt liberating <laughs> so the next thing that i absolutely hate is this new morphe palette and i'm not gonna lie i used um for this look today i did use a shade from a morphe palette I'm gonna list everything that I have on my face down below, so you know, don't worry about that if you have any questions. You don't need it. You don't need it, trust me. I'm looking at like a lot of these shades and I'm trying, like I get, I understand the color story, you know, it's supposed to be like, it gives me kind of like that Miami Vice, like 80s, you know, very like sunset, very like on the ocean, like a Riviera type setting, but you know, with speedboats and very pointy sunglasses. It's given me that. And I do like some of the blues in it, but I also have to think like I own a bunch of blue palettes. So I'm looking at this and I think about like the ColourPop palettes that I own that do have blue in them and like some of the other ones that I've gotten from Ico and stuff like that. Like I own this, I own this. I have all these colors. I don't need, and I, I do have to give them credit. They did, expand from just doing like a couple of pops of color and then just browns just a ton of browns i'm glad they did that so that's a that's a big improvement i definitely appreciate that they did that i do have to say this um the sandbar color is like beautiful i do own a lot of like yellows and stuff like that but this is like a really pretty saffron yellow which i'm like yes i love you um but everything else I just, because I, I have so much makeup already, I really don't need this. And also I'm kind of, I just kind of reached a point with like, with my makeup, especially with eyeshadows, I don't need a big palette. Like I've, I've gone, be, I've ascended from having um, a 35 pan palette. One, it's, it's hard to store. I've had to purchase like this um, three drawer storage thing from Target, which has actually, I keep it in my closet. It's like helped me a lot. So like literally all of my obnoxiously big bulky palettes, like my Morphe ones and my ABH ones. And like, I have like one line crime one and one Pat McGrath. I just keep it in that. That's just a, a big palette drawer. Um, but everything else stays up top where it's easy to store. So I don't know. I just, I wish that Morphe would come. I know that they have their nine pans. I get it. I love a good nine pan, but I also kind of want to see more quads from them in the future and also a better eyeshadow formula and brushes that don't shed like dogs. It's just a couple things, you know. <laughs> um, also, in addition to that, this does come with a brush set and also three lip glosses, which are minis. Again, you don't need them. You don't need those brushes. Although the colors are really pretty, you don't need them. You're you're just buying the colors. Anyway, moving on from that. 
So I, I know I have to talk about this because I have to talk about this. Um, Lime Crime. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I, I used to, I actually boycotted Lime Crime for years, like for years, right? Until, you know, I found out that Doe Deer stepped down. I was like, okay, now that they have a new CEO, I can like buy stuff now. But word on the street is that she's still like a member of the board. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, so she's a member of the board there, and I don't know how I feel about that, other than bad. So we'll see if that's just like a rumor or something that needs to be debunked or whatever. But let's talk about these new eyeshadow palettes that are 30 doll hairs each. So one, they're ugly. They're just, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's just something about these freaking pans that I just, I just hate. There's just something about them. It's just, it's so chunky. And I feel like I don't have enough room to like really transition. Like if I'm tapping into other colors because I'm gonna get some of the dust and like some of the fallout into the pan that's like right beside it. Or if I'm using like one of the center shades, I'm gonna get that into like both pans because I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of rough with my makeup. Like I know you're not supposed to be, but I am because I'm me and I can only be me. So yeah, I just, I don't like these. I, I don't like the colors. I don't know, it's just something about them just makes me, it makes me queasy. I, I can't, I can't really put my finger on it. It just, it makes me queasy. Yeah, like I, and usually like I love, I love their formula. I freaking own almost all their palettes except for that one that they released during Christmas, which is basically like, they put literally all of their old shades that are like super duper popular. They put them into like, I think it's like an eight pan. Yeah, it's like once an eight pan and then of course like their larger palette. They just put all those shades that you already own from older palettes into two new, new, new packages. And I'm like, literally I had to fight the makeup goblin that lives within my soul because I wanted them because of the packaging because I love that like it was like the ornate packaging from Colourpop I love that like really pretty really ornate you know that like baroque type look I'm an art history student um so ignore me with some of my jargon um yeah like it I loved it because of that I love their formula but this is just like what, I think they've just run out of ideas to be honest. And I kind of feel bad for them, but I'm also like, you guys are, you guys basically presented yourself as like being kind of like Urban Decay, but better. Like more different, more edgy, you know, just more out there. And I'm, I'm getting this, I'm getting a couple of flat looking golds and you know, some terrible glitters and like a couple of like pops of pink, which are in both palettes. Why do you have pops of pink in both palettes? Like one's neon, the other's like a muted neon. It, huh? <laughs> so yeah, I, mm, anyway, we're just, I'm not gonna get that because it's freaking terrible. Um, and then we're gonna move on to Tarte. So I'm actually gonna make a video about makeup brands that have just, that were like super popular, but have just fallen off the bandwagon. And Tarte is one of them. So they just released their new Tarte Lip Palette, which, yeah, it's their new Tarte Lip Palette. It's freaking terrible. It's, it's just like, I'm sorry, like, what what is with companies just releasing the same neutrals nudes pinks just over and over again like we just saw this earlier with ColourPop with that melrose palette like you don't need this no actually no one needs this like if i had someone i was doing their makeup with and they're like oh you know i want to use this one i'm like yeah let's go take a look at my in my drawers and i could pull out at least seven palettes that have these colors in them because this it's just lackluster. It's not, 
I mean, the, sh the glitters are really pretty, I'm not gonna lie. Like, but then again, you can't, you can't go wrong with glitters. Like, glitters look good. But everything else, like, at least I just hope that the formula is really good. That's the only thing I can hope for, which honestly, Tarte's kind of like wavered, like, with their formula. I remember, um, what was it? It was, was it last year or year before last? I think it was year before last when I was working at Ulta and like they came out with the that Lele Pons palette and the glitters are pretty. The formula was okay. Uh, I couldn't tell you much else other than it was a freaking cash grab. But yeah, it's like I just need Tarte to just step up their game. Like I know they came out with a bunch of different products like they have deodorants. They have toothpaste, they have teeth whitener, they have like a mini skincare line with both like their Sugar Rush and like their main Tarte brand. I know that they have those and maybe if they would just like stop focusing on like some of the miscellaneous things and just get back to focusing on like just making a good eyeshadow palette or at least an eyeshadow palette that people are willing to buy and not whatever this is, um, then we can work with that. I can't really work with this because I own this. So if you're asking me to spend like, you know, $54 on this, I'm not going to do it because that's stupid. And also I have no money. So yeah, beyond that, you don't need this. Ignore it. Pretend like you never saw it. Moving on. Um, so one of the, <sighs> so we're going to, we're going to transition from things that I hate and I'm not going to get, um, to things that I kind of like, but I know I'm definitely not going to get. So Becca just came out with this new, it's a dewy finish. I think it's like a skin tint. Let me make sure that I'm not, you know, making stuff up. I think it's a skin tint and they also have like, yeah, here it is. Okay. So yeah, it's a skin tint. It's called the Life Sh Light Shifter. I can't talk because it's late and I'm hopped up on sugar. So it's the Light Shifter Collection, which is like a skin tint. They also have um, like a, a powder version. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's late. Yeah, so it's a finishing veil. So they have the, the tinted moisturizers, which you know, give you that like kind of like glossy look, that natural makeup, no makeup, makeup look. And they also have the finishing powders. So I know that Urban K, they also like release their skin tints and 12 shades. It's 2021 and you can only give me 12 shades, 12 sad looking shades. Okay. All right. I, I, I see what you're doing. Um, but this one from Becca, it looks like it does have like micro glitters in it, which I guess help with like boosting that like radiance and giving you that like natural inner glow look. My only problem is that people who are either like super dry or have like super textured skin, that's stuff I'm going to show up a lot. I mean, it's going to give you that glowy look and that like glass skin and like dewy look, but it's also going to pick up on everything that you don't want to show off. So... I kind of don't know how I feel about it. And also it only comes in six shades. So it's not a lot to, I think my camera really does hate me. <laughs> so yeah, I have like a little ex extractor tool that I can remove some of that texture with. Um, but I also just don't want it to like pick up on that because ugh. anyway, I'm just, I'm not feeling this. And I mean, it looks absolutely lovely on, on these models that they have on here. Like, I think it looks really great on them, but I don't, I don't think it will look good on me, but if you want to get it, cause you just want something like really natural and easy to use, especially like, since again, we're wearing masks, um, I would definitely recommend getting a skin tint over getting a foundation, just using a foundation because you're going to use a lot less product. It's not going to feel like super heavy on skin. And also it's not going to transfer a lot onto your mask. Now, as for the setting powder, um, I really have no issue with it. It just seems like, you know, your standard press setting powder. It's a setting powder. 
do what you want with it. Whatever. Okay, so moving on to the next thing for things that I absolutely do want. <sighs> so Mel Cosmetics actually came out with a blueprint collection. And when I saw it, again, I know I said earlier, I own a lot of blue palettes, but, and this is a chonky butt, um, have you tried Melt's formula? You should try their formula. It's so good. It's, it's so good. It's so, Melt, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm wearing the Beetlejuice palette right now. Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow formula. I'm not going to get struck by lightning if I say this. It's better than Pat McGrath's. It's better. Both the mattes and the shimmers. It's better. I don't know what they do to their, their eyeshadows. I have no idea. But it's the best formula I've ever had and so easy to store. That's another thing. I love just the shape of their palettes because like they're so flat. And this like the, that classic rectangle sh shape. I can just pop it into my drawer and just not think about like how difficult it is. Like I can just line up a chunk of them and just not think about it. I love it. So yeah, I, I'm i gonna get this one. It's 48 doll hairs, which I don't mind because again, it's it's melt. I love their high shadow formula. So that's one thing that I love that I'm absolutely gonna get. Um, another thing that I'm gonna get, which I'm kind of, I'm like teetering on, I guess is the, uh, what is it? What are these I already own? Oh, yeah, so this is one of those things that like, I know I'm gonna get it, but I also, I don't know, I might regret it. And of course you can't return it, but I'm, I'm still gonna get it. Is the new like Dynamite um, Cream Gel Color Vault from ColourPop. And it has all of these so I'm a sucker for, for pastel liners. I, I'm not gonna lie. I just, I love them. I think they're beautiful. They, they have a bunch of colors that I would absolutely use, especially for like, you know, that graphic liner look when I don't feel like pulling out, you know, the water based liners. Well, the, the water activated liners, let me correct myself. Because like, I, I like using the water activated liners because they do give you that, that like really bold pigmentation I'm looking for, but it's also really messy. So, it takes a long time for you to like, you know, understand how much water you need, how much water you don't need. And sometimes like if you use too little water, it gets like super dry, super quick. And when I'm doing a look, I just want to like put it on my eye and go, especially if it's a graphic liner look. Like I don't, I don't, this sounds so entitled. I don't want a learning curve. I don't want a learning curve. I just want to put it on my eyelids, just leave. So yeah, I'm definitely going to get this because I do actually like their cream gel liner formula. I mean, it's it's okay. It's not like the greatest thing I've ever tried in my life, but it's a thing. It's a thing that I like. So I'm gonna get it. Anyway, okay, another one from ColourPop is of course the Animal Crossing collection. I mentioned this earlier that I am gonna get the eyeshadows. Actually looking at what a hoot I just realized that I have a a lime crime palette. Just this one is actually similar to that, and you know what? This one might be better. So this is the lime crime and the Venus extra small, and this is a solid gold palette. And if you're looking for a dupe of what a hoot, I would definitely look into that. I don't know where you can get it because it's not on their website anymore, but if you want something that's like a little bit more pigmented and just better overall in regard to its um, quality, I would definitely look into getting the Solid Gold palette from Lime Crime because it, it's just better. And plus like, it, it's it's just neutrals, it's just nudes, it's just browns. Um, I'm not going to get any of the lip colors because I don't like ColourPop's lip formula. Um, not gonna get super shock shadows. I'm avoiding those blushes like the plague. And also I don't need glitters. I have like, I have a ton of glitter already. I don't, I don't need any more glitters. Um, but as for like the rest of them, I'm just gonna get it because 
it's a collection. I want to collect all of them. I know I'm not going to use them as much as I would because like I have the Baby Yoda palette and also the Hello Kitty palette and the Sailor Moon palette and I don't use them. I haven't, I haven't even touched two of them, but like, yeah, I don't use them. I just collect them because I like the, the thing, the, the thing that they're partnering with. That's the only reason why I have it. Um, I may do a look one day with it, but when I, I'm just going to collect them because I'm stupid. Um, so another thing that from ColourPop, I don't know why they're so popular tonight. Um, so this is actually one palette that I do have, and this is a cloud spun. It actually came in a set. My fiance got this for me for our Christmas slash anniversary. We've been together for three years, so yay us, we're doing stuff. So this is a cloud spun collection that just came out from ColourPop, and I do have the cloud spun palette. And I tried to do a look with it the other day, and honestly, like, the only thing that got me outside of just the theme being cotton candy was that hot pink that you see in the corner right here. Like, that's the, that's the one thing that drew me in. But, when I went to go put it on my eye, it really wasn't as, like, bright and bold and pigmented as I wanted it to be. So, you know, I took it off and I started over and I just did, you know, a little bit more of my primer, um, which is like the ABH primer, which is gives you that kind of like white-ish, it's like white without being just like really pale or whatever. You know what I'm saying. Um, so I started with that and it still wasn't as bold as I wanted it to be. So I actually got one of the, um, I have it right here, if I can get it out. I got one of these, which is just like a pigment from, oh my God, I can never pronounce this. Jalaru? Yeah, Jalaru, Jalaru. Yeah, so it's an indie company and this is in the shade Love Spell. So I actually use this, just to bump up that color a bit more. And I honestly wish like I just went with this shade because this is like literally the type of pigmentation that I was looking for in this palette, but I didn't get it. Um, I'm actually glad that one, I asked for it as a gift, so I didn't spend money on it. And two, I'm glad that it just came in a set. Like I didn't just go out and buy the whole Cloud Spun collection because again, I can't use those blushes. They're dreadful. I don't want those those lip colors because we're in a mask. And also, I, I, I say again, I don't like the formula. And I do would say the candy floss or whatever. I think it's candy floss. Yeah, that um, soul highlighter. I might get it. <laughs> but that's only because I like souls. I like their highlighter formula. That's the only reason why I would get it. It's because I like their highlighter formula. Um... Okay, so another thing that I saw, which, um, I see BH Cosmetics. So this is from BH Cosmetics. This is their Lunar New Year collection, and I saw the palette. Let me try to find the palette's name, because it's gorgeous. Anyway, so, yeah. It is the, yeah. Uh, I don't think it has like a name to it. It's just, yeah, Lunar New Year 2021. Um, so this palette is everything I wanted that like spicy palette from, from Tarte to be that it just couldn't. It's giving me, it's giving me the greens that I love, the yellows that I love, the, the reds, the oranges, those corals. I freaking love this. And also it's only $21. It's only 21. I I don't know how much that that spicy palette was, but I know that it was it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous for the amount of colors you got and also just the payoff in general. I know that much. But yeah, this this palette is like, oh my god, it's gorgeous. And I'm I'm obsessed with it. Like that ye the yellow mountain color is calling my name, so is Mandarin, so is Fortune warriors like i want every single last shade 
in this palette. So I'm definitely going to get that because it's just absolutely gorgeous. Now, am I going to get the glitters? Probably not because, again, I don't need them. Um, the lashes and the eyeliner, I'm probably not going to get those either because I have, I have enough lashes. Even though those lashes are, like, they're really pretty. Yeah, these lashes are, like, really nice. They're... They give you that really natural look. Okay, I take that back. I might get the lashes. <laughs> I might get those, yeah. Cause I like I'm currently using. Oh my god, what is the name? Oh, Lotus lashes, yeah. So I'm currently using those. I love them. Yeah, so I would definitely recommend getting those lashes, but I also want these lashes because they're really pretty. Alright, so moving on to the, another thing that I'm probably gonna get. Um, so we're going to go back to Lime Crime, and they just came out with their new Venus Liquid Eyeliner. So, um, I'm just hoping that the applicator is good, because I have, like, my Fenty one over here, and, like, I read the reviews before I got them, and I actually got these on sale, I think last year? Oh, you're crusty. Okay, yeah, it, I think it's, I think it's time to throw this away, because <laughs> I don't, I don't use them because the formula is, it's terrible, it's so bad, and now it's all chunky, but yeah, so I noticed that their applicator is kind of like this, which is like a little skinny brush, and, you know, that's cool and all, that, that's cool, but I don't have a lot of success with this. I feel like I do a much better job if I just like remove that little um, brush suction thingy. It's not a suck, it doesn't have a suction, but it like removes product, the excess. I, I feel better if I remove that and just dip in with one of my other eyeliner brushes for like the different looks that I wanna do. Um, I'm much more successful with that. I'm not a fan of the applicator, but the colors are like really pretty. Um, it still has a lot of like the pastel colors, like with the ColourPop one, I guess that's just where we're going in 2021. We're just going towards more pastels and like, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I, I don't even know anymore. I'm just, I'm just kind of, I exist. I'm just going along with this ride, but this is just really, <laughs> it's really pretty and I might get all of them. Trend Mood has a coupon code. Oh, Christ. Okay. So, I just I just realized the price of them. Alright, so with the, for the individuals, it's 18 For a trio, it's 46 And for the bundle, it's 168 This is why Afterpay is a thing. So, I'm probably going to get them using like after pay or quad pay or firm or something because they're really pretty or maybe i can just like not be a goblin and just buy the ones that i really like i'm gonna try not to be a goblin okay so now that we're done with that um oh oh okay so I'm, I'm gonna say the best for last. <laughs> All right, so another thing that just came out is are these MAC paint pots, which I do have a couple of them that I used for just like an eyeshadow base because that's honestly like one of the, one of the very few eyeshadow primers that doesn't make my eyes water. And today I'm actually surprised my eyes aren't watering using the ABH one. Um, so yeah, they actually just came out with a bunch of different shades and finishes and they're $23 each, but they're beautiful. And the, okay, so I love these because you can, they're so versatile. You can do whatever you want with them. Like you can wear them as like just an eyeshadow alone. You can do really cool looks with them. And also like, especially with that like new glossy eye look. These were invented just for that. This shade right here, I have no idea what you are, but it's just like pinky, shade you can see it if you go on trip mood um it's this shade i want it i want it because i have like a bunch of like eye gloss i need to use and i feel like i can do like a really cool like angled shadow look with this because 
One, it's glittery, two, it's perfect for glossy eyes, and three, it's like a primer and a shadow put together. Um, so I'm definitely gonna get that. Thank you, Mac, for like doing something innovative, you know, things that you're not usually, you know, used to. Thank you for doing something for us and instead of giving us nothing like you usually do. So I appreciate that. I'm definitely gonna get one of these. Maybe get two or three. Depending on like how I feel because $23 is kind of, it's kind of a bit much for it. But I'm also like, you're gonna use it a lot. You're gonna go through that thing. Um, another thing that I'm definitely gonna get are these Charlotte Tilbury. These little like lip balms that are, they're so cute. Okay, so, you know, I'm not, I don't really buy Charlotte Tilbury. Like I own nothing from her, but these like, they're called the Hyaluronic Happy Kiss. It's these Hyaluronic Infused Lip Mask Plumbing Effect um, Lipstick Lip Gloss Balm. I got thirsty from that mouthful. So it's like this little like lip conglomerate. That is not the word for that. Anyway, it's, it's really pretty. I've been like really into lip tints lately. And I'm not talking about like the ones from ColourPop. Like I've been into just like something sheer that's like a balm that gives me that nice natural look without going overboard. Uh, they're $34. See, that's the problem with me. When I find something I like, I want to just like, I want to buy all of it. I want to buy all of it, but I can't buy all of it. Like I already, I, I'm looking at, let's see, one, two, three, four, like five colors that I love and that I, I feel like I need. Um, I'm already seeing stuff that, but I'm going to have to like, I'm going to have to choose like two or just one just to like try out the form because like what if I buy five of them and I hate the formula I'm just gonna I'm gonna get one I'm gonna get one I'm gonna try it out see if I like it if I don't like it I'll just like return it back to Sephora but I am really excited about that and I'm so happy that like they came out with something you know for us mask girlies who just want to you know be a little a little hydrated a little plumped underneath our mask all right, and of course, last but not least, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so this is like one of the few celebrity brands that I I want, and I did pre-order. So this is the About Face um, makeup launch by Hals Halsley. Yes, okay, so let me go to their Instagram. So, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and shout her out. I think, I think it was Hannah from Smoky Glow who mentioned this. This is what House Labs was supposed to be. And I don't own a single thing from House Labs because it's so, one, it's overpriced. Two, I own pretty much every basic thing that they have. Like these are just like your basic elements of makeup that you don't need. Um, yeah, this was what I was expecting from House. But this, oh my God, breathtaking, breathtaking. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my shop app and just so I can tell you guys like what I actually ordered, which is, I mean, I didn't order like a ton. Yeah, so I ordered the, I ordered three, actually four <laughs> of the matte fluid eye paints. I got white noise, lost and found, clone and smoke signal. I got two of the shadow sticks. I actually got one of them free because they had like a little deal. I got that in Acidic and Creature and I got the Light Light Lock Lip Gloss in Please Obey. So honestly, like my total came up to 137 um, minus that, you know, and that's with the free eyeshadow stick, um, which isn't bad. For all those products, it's like not bad at all. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm blown away by this. Like, the marketing is everything, oh. So this is like kind of like a merge between if Glossier and Milk had a baby, About Face would, would be the baby. Like, 
and you know, mind you, I love Glossier, I love Milk, but like some of their stuff I just can't justify getting because like the price point doesn't match the product. Like I'm using the Milk Blur Primer Stick and honestly, it's okay. Like it's not like the one primer that like I reach for. The only reason I'm wearing it is because like I'm just doing a quick video. If I were going out, I would definitely use like my Derma Blend or like the Hydro Grip, but I don't want to waste it. So I'm just like, whatever, I'll just use a, the stick. Um, so yeah, I, I like their products, but like, there are just some things from Milk that I just, like I have things that I own from them that I just don't use. Um, but this is just, and also with Glossier, with their like um, cloud, it, what is, it's not a cloud paint. That's their, their blushes. Skywash, that's what it is. There's Skywash like shadow thingies. Um, yeah, I'm not here for it. It's just, it gives me too little of color, which I get it. You're going for that, that really soft, that like art, that artsy person who's just like walking out there who can just throw on some eyeshadow and just be cool and like look snatched and whatever. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that person. I went to art school. I'm still not that person. That that was that person that like I aspire to be, but then I could never be because I'm neurotic. So um yeah, I can't. But yeah, thanks for giving me false hope, Glossier. Um, but everything else, I like I love their marketing. Like their Instagram page is beautiful. And the fact that she just like came out with it like none, none of us knew anything she was just like oh yeah I did a thing enjoy yes okay so I I need like place like house labs to take note and also like I can understand if like if if Lady Gaga wanted to come out with a with a line that was like Selena Gomez's line with um her rare beauty like Selena Gomez was known for having like that really subtle natural you know kind of like, not femme fatale, but like that classic beauty look. And she duplicated that in her makeup, which is incredible. I'm, I'm so glad that she did that. And apparently a lot of people love her makeup. I still haven't purchased it yet um, because I've been hoarding other things, but I, I'm definitely gonna get it pretty soon. Oh my God, did I play Pokemon Go yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Yeah, this is giving me Mac 2.0. This is giving me, you know, you know, makeup artistry, but it's giving me more, mostly like editorial artistry. And I want street. Okay, I want street. I want grunge. I want grime. I don't I don't need these like little clean looking things. Like I know that she just came out with these guys. Um, these little quads. Again, you don't need them. You don't need them. And, and mind you, I, I'm a huge Gaga fan. I love her. She could she could literally just like stomp on my hand and I would still be like, would you like the other? Like, I love her, but this, I will never buy any of her stuff because of just how mediocre it is. And $24 for something like this. And this is why I bought About Face because yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to put my phone down because the rant is over. Um, thank you for joining me. This is the end of my video. Um, if you are coming back for more, I will be back with some other topics and other things to rant about. Um, thank you for joining me on this lovely journey and roller coaster that is a first video. I hope you like and subscribe and come back for more. Um, yeah, I appreciate you for spending time with me and hope to see you next time. See ya.